My brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of the Lord is obedience, obedience, obedience is better than sacrifice. You know, I was replying to someone in my thread um, and the thing that came to mind was, um, you know, you can fast and you can pray. You know, many of us, you're fasting, you're praying, you're reading your Bible, you're doing different things and that's a good thing. But one thing that I said to this person, and I'm sharing it with you today, and it wasn't that she wasn't obeying, but I said this, with everything that you're doing, ensure that you're obeying God. And I want to share that with you all today, because a lot of times people are doing their fasting, they're praying, but they don't obey God. They fast and pray for things. They read their Bible. They go to church. They tithe. They give offering, they donate, they participate in the church, but they don't obey God. And my brothers and sisters, this is where God says in Matthew 7, 20 through 22. And here's, he says, there's a lot that's going to, you know, not everyone that's saying, Lord, Lord shall enter in. And many are going to say, didn't we do this and that in your name? And then he's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you, you who practice lawlessness. Disobedience is lawlessness. Not listening to the Lord is lawlessness. Because if you don't disobey God in one setting, if you disobey God in one setting, you're going to do it in the next, my brothers and sisters. There's plenty of people who get up and they pray and they read their Bible, but they don't disobey the Lord in the things that he tells them to do, especially if it's something that they feel is going to make them uncomfortable. God, I'll do what you tell me to do as, if, as long as it's what I want. But there's a lot of people that disobey the Lord. There's a lot of people that's very active in church that in, they have several areas of disobedience in their lives where they're not obeying God. So the word today, my brothers and sisters, is God is looking for your obedience. He's not looking for your sacrifice. My brothers and sisters, the word of God says, if you read Matthew 7 and start at 20, Listen, this 20 through 22, this people that said, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we cast out demons in your name? So my brothers and sisters, even me sitting here doing this YouTube video and doing all this stuff and I can pray till the sky turn blue and black and pink and red and all of that. I can, I can pray the sun down. I can do all of that. I can pray the rain away. I could do all those things. But if I don't obey God in my life and if I don't obey God in the things that he's commanded me to do and the things he told me I need to do, none of that matters. This is exact to some people that think it's unfair, but this is how holy our God is. Disobedience is darkness. Disobedience is darkness, my brothers and sisters. Disobedience is darkness and it brings delays and there is no darkness in him and nothing that has darkness in him can enter into the kingdom of God. And I'm going to tell you why. God has his angels in heaven and they had choice. You understand? He's always given, even his angelic beings had choice. And so Satan made his own decisions. And he, him, and he was able to take a portion of the angels with him. Okay? So what that means is you will have choice. If he took you and entered, allowed you to enter into heaven in your toxic state, you'll be in there making a lot of bad choices. And that's why you can't go there. If you can't make good choices here on earth, and obey the Lord. He's not going to let you in. Because you're not going to just be on a default setting to obey. You understand that? <laughs> you go in heaven and just ransack it. You will not enter. Nothing unclean can enter. And disobedience is uncleanness. Disobedience is lawlessness. The little things that God tells you to do... You may think it's just a small thing, but th th this is a thing. God is looking at, you disobey me in little things? Nah, there's no way I can take you to higher heights. Because you can't obey me here. You definitely not going to obey me. Obey me when I give you more. Obey the Lord. Obey the Lord. Do not mistake religious acts. Do not mistake because you lead a great Bible study, do not mistake having this massive prayer group. Group, Do not mistake because you have a big YouTube channel. Do not mistake because you have a huge church. 
Do not mistake because you're well known in the community and have ties within who with everyone else and, and in the community, you know the mayor. Do not mistake that as being in good standing with God. What the Lord is looking at with all these things that you're doing, are you obeying me when I tell you you need to forgive this person? Are you obeying me in how you're supposed to treat your wife? Are you obeying my word? Are you loving me with all your heart, your soul, your mind? Are you loving your neighbor as yourself? Are you being kind? Are you walking in the fruits of the spirit? Are you walking in the spirit and not walking in the flesh? These are the things that the Lord is looking at. Not the big, busy things people do to kind of supplement disobedience. That ain't going to happen. God says he wants your obedience. He wants your obedience. Obey him in everything he tells you to do. And if you've messed up and you haven't, you need to repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. But you still need to do the thing that he told you to do. And keep in mind, guys, this just dropped in my spirit, that sometimes you have a window. Sometimes you have a window. You didn't do what he told you to do it. So then you decide, oh, I'll do it Thursday. But guess what? Your window has passed. You did it when you want to do it. And when you did it, guess what? You did it, but there was a specific reason. Maybe if you had done it, the moment the Lord told you, that's where you're going to get your breakthrough. That's when another door is going to open. That's when that person's heart was in a place to listen. When you, when you did this particular thing, if it involves another person, the person's heart would have been moved to listen. That person was in a place to, to, to be saved. Somebody was in a place that they would have blessed you. Somebody would have been in a place that, listen, there would have been a, a, a change. You got to understand that when you disobey, there's a chain reacting, a chain reaction. So the same way when you disobey, when you obey God in a tiny manner and do the things that he told you to do at the time he tells you to do it, there's a chain reactions of blessings, breakthroughs, healings, strongholds being pulled down. Listen, doors of opportunity opening up that happens in that window. Obey him. Obey the Lord. This is the word today.